These are javelinas. Even though they look like pigs, they're really not. They are peccaries. They kind of do the, the same job as pigs do. They're generally not aggressive. Unless you mess with them. So I'm going to move on. you can see, I don't have this in vertical mode anymore. I have it in horizontal mode. I had to move my phone case carrier thing and twiddle with it just a little bit, but I got it. And I'm taking a little ride down the road. I actually got this thing on pedal assist one and I'm pedaling most of the time. Sometimes I will go ahead and hit the, hit the throttle like when I'm going through low water and I need a little bit of power to get through. This is one of the few low water crossings that has concrete on it. I just stopped for a second to see if the call it uh, the shake feature anti-shake feature was on and apparently it was hopefully I am looking at two different cameras to get one is the GoPro Hero 9 I've seen lots of people I've seen lots of people posting videos with those, that one, and it looks really good. I'm also looking at, how oh, it's a 360 camera. Little rocks. <laughs> it's a 360 camera, Insta 360R one. It's the one that has the multiple lenses that you can change out. Just a tiny bit more expensive than their straight on uh, 360 camera. I actually like how the regular 360 camera looks. Yeah, more rocks. But I like the idea that I can change out lenses and be able to use the, like, do the 360 the regular video and it also has a, uh, a really good lens that you can use for regular photography. And I like the idea that you know, worst thing happens and I fall down, go boom. and I scratch a lens, I can just buy another one and change it out. So that's a thought. What do you think? What do you guys use? Go back to pedaling. It's got a little squeak. I did bed them, but either I didn't do it well enough or it's not going to matter.
We had a little rain today. I would planned on going out riding a little bit earlier. But we had a little bit of rain. It wasn't a lot. But sometimes we, those little bitty rains can turn into big old downpours. I didn't want to be out on the bike stuck in one of those. This low water crossing also has a little bit of concrete on it, but I don't think it comes all the way across. Or the water has moved where it goes across. Not the concrete, but the water. I try to pick a spot that has the ripply water because of that is where it is so shallow usually. You can also see where the bigger rocks are. You get a big ripple, you don't want to go through that. You also got to be careful of real gravelly stuff. You sink right into that, your tires will, and you'll end up stopping. And then your feet get wet. That's no fun. I'm going to stop and take a picture here. All right, snacks and pictures. It's humid. Probably because of that rain. It's not too hot though. Probably in the 70s, maybe mid 70s. Here's something I've learned since I've got all these rocks where I ride you gotta really watch where you're going one of the things I've learned is I get out of these potholes here I should be on the other side of this but I'm not gonna cross over in that mud <laughs> One of the things I've learned is don't look at the thing that you don't want to hit. I know this is a double negative, right? But what I've discovered is if I see a rock and I don't want to run over that rock and I stare at it, God, it's crazy. I will, the bike will just go straight for, for that rock. It hasn't knocked me down yet, but a couple of times it's come pretty darn close. So when I see something that I really don't want to run over, I look at the place where I want my bike to go, not at the thing I'm trying to miss. There's a handy little hint for you. This bike has done amazingly well on the roads that I have out here. These are all rocky, unpaved, sometimes muddy roads. So I'm coming up on one of my neighbors. They were outside a little bit ago. I don't know if they're still outside or not.
got done what they needed to do. They got horses over there. Or at least a horse. I don't know if they have horses anymore or if it's just one. I understand they have a cow as well that they milk. Get some real pioneer types out here. <laughs> you kind of got to be to live out here and really love it. Triangle rocks where they stick up the pointy parts to the side. 